Hi everyone, Simeon Davenport here, and welcome to my third commentary video. Uh, this is a commentary on my Why Never Screw Over Shows video, and I really want to do a commentary on this video next, because um, this is probably the most influential video I've made. And by influential, I mean influential for my channel. Like, uh, this was the first video of mine where, um, I, I, uh, where I, I talk about, um, not a cartoon, I mean, it's for my King Review, so I, I wasn't talking about cartoons yet, but, uh, but instead of talking about a cartoon, I'm talking about uh, a topic that kind of, like, surrounds cartoons. Like, a topic that, like, uh, relates to cartoons and media itself. In this case, you know, um, bad business decisions or network politics, that kind of thing. And, you know, you know, this video was pretty influential for me because uh, this video was kind of a stepping stone for me to eventually talk about, um, to do other videos where I talked about similar kind of media topics, uh, like my uh, uh, my Animation Studios, Studios Under Capitalism video, or my uh, The Original Creator's Opinion Argument, Chuck Jones Hates Space Jam video, or, 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 or my Intellectual, uh, my Fan Products versus Intellectual Property Laws video, and even to some extent, even to some extent my, my Response to Spectrum Pulse video, which is the last commentary video I did, yeah, even, even that to some extent was kind of a inspired by this, the whole, like, um, the whole, again, t not, uh, talking about, like, a topic surrounding media itself, rather than actual media. Um, and, you know, even though that was about, that, that I'm sorry, covering up related really to music and cartoons, but, you know, I was kind of talking about both music and cartoons there. But yeah, these kind of videos where I, um, uh, I talk about, you know, a topic surrounding media itself, um, that all did start with my Why Network Screwer Shows video here, that, um... So in that sense, it actually was pretty uh, influential for my cha for my channel. Um, I believe it's the most viewed video, um, I think it's got about 600 views right now, um, 600-something views, I didn't... Probably should check before I started recording this, but, uh... Um, yeah, um... Uh, the reason I, um... Uh, I, I, now, the kind of backstory here was I, I made this video um, shortly after the news about the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles being cancelled uh, came out, which um, I, I mentioned in the video, but um, I think that has like the second most infamous treatment of any Nicktoon. Like, Harvey Beaks is number one, but uh, I would definitely consider this to be number two. I don't remember like the, the details exactly, because uh, you know, that news was like two years ago today as I'm recording this, but uh, yeah, I really want to talk about uh, just, again, like how people like... Uh, um, basically, like, um, like, like, uh, like, how people react when it comes to network politics and that kind of stuff. Like, people, like, like, always tend to take the creative side. I actually spoke about this a little more in my, uh, the live stream I was on with, with DJ, you No know, Parking Berry's channel with, with, with Twisted Dan's. Um, but I, I kind of want to talk about, um, I go into more detail there, but, uh, Talk about kind of why I'm not like quite as vocally angry as many other people are when it comes to network politics. Why I tend to be a little more lax, because I've, I've kind of come to accept this kind of thing is inevitable when it comes to networks. Now, you know, sometimes like it, this happens, kind of happens, and like there's nothing you can do about it. And, and I will say for the most part, I do pretty much stand by everything I said here. Um, uh, I, I do still agree that like uh, with most of the points I made about how people just tend to um kind of take the opposite extreme, which I call the Greenblatt effect, um, you know, when it comes to this happening, um, you know, people see, like, a, a really bad network decision that happens, they, they have a very strong negative reaction to it, and they take the creative stance, which is, I guess, the opposite stance, and that's the Greenblatt effect, um, which is the term I quote. Oh, by the way, uh, Felix Anthony Sainz, uh, he runs the Nick Schedules account, he made a little thing for me, I, I asked him before, um, and then he made that for me. Um, anyway, um, Oh, by the, um, I'll, maybe I'll talk about that later. Um, I, I, I don't know if there actually is a, a, an actual term for the Greenblatt effect. I, I, th I would have to someone in the comments would uh, would correct me and say, actually, the Greenblatt effect is, is called this. But to my surprise, no one did. I, I, I guess um, we'll just call it the Greenblatt effect um, for now. You know, people kind of taking the opposite extreme of something that they don't like, having the negative reaction, and taking the other side out of out, out of resentment or spite. <clears throat> Uh, um, now, I, I did get some complaints about this video that my audio was really low. Um, there actually is a reason for that. There is a reason why my audio is really low in this video. Um, this was the second video I'd made uh, with my webcam on, where you can see my face. The first video with my webcam was my uh, Why AGR The Click Is A Good Album video. Um, now, in that video, my audio was not very, was, was very bad. And the reason for that was because um, 
I was using uh, my webcam's built-in microphone, which is not very good. It has a really crappy built-in microphone, so I just for this video I I want to improve my microphone more. So I decided that um, for this video I would use the microphone that I normally use to record videos. Um, now the thing is, at the time, uh, um, I, 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 it's kind of a microphone where you have to actually hold it. I, I didn't have a microphone stand at the time. I do a micro microphone stand now. Well, not with me right now because I'm in I'm in residence university and uh, my microphone stands back home and in, in, in my home. But um, but I, I now I have a microphone stand uh, that I use my, for my videos. Um, but at the t but at the time I didn't have a microphone stand, so I I had to hold the microphone. But I I held it like just out of frame. So um. My microphone is like, oh, there's Effie Tooney. They're not on Twitter anymore for reasons I'm not going to talk about. Um, but anyway, um, my, 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 I, I had to hold my microphone like just out of frame, like um, so it wouldn't be visible. And uh, and but between that as holding it pretty far away from my mouth, plus uh, my microphone being down at 50% of volume, which I, I don't remember why I. Put it that low. Um, between that, that's why my audio is so low in this video. I tried to like boost in my in my video um uh, uh, video editing software, but it still didn't really boost it that much. And by the way, you don't say I'm only using one hand to make to make like the the quotes like um I, to make my um my that's what complete equal treatment is. And I, I and I I do like a quote hands, but I only use one hand. That's because I'm I'm holding the other hand with my microphone. And I, I, I might like you saw me scratch my face there. I think I like did like a uh, change hands, like hold my microphone and scratch it with my other hand because uh, my itch was on my, uh, the other side of my face. But um, but yeah, I, I'm always holding my microphone all the time in this video. Um, until I got my mic. But again, thankfully I do have a microphone stand now, so um, that's not a problem anymore. This is a clip of a Mr. Andrews growing around uh, trailer. Um, I decided to use uh, this clip because you know I, I want. I, I thought it'd be good to talk about like uh, 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 independent projects, you know, in the animation industry, you know. And uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, again, that's another point I really stand by. You know, going independent is not always the best option. Sometimes going to networks is the better option. Um, you kind of have to, you know, kind of have to, to, to like to weigh your uh, weigh both options. Kind of look at the pros and cons of both and. Yeah, a lot of the other points I really, really do stand by as well. You know, clearly the network's Nick's desperate is not scaring creators away. You know, if uh, people are still pitching to them, you know, people say, uh, you know, don't pitch shows to Nickelodeon because they'll screw it over. But, but as in, they want Nickelodeon to have original shows, and they can only do that if people actually pitch to them. You know, I remember, um, I think it was last year, someone actually like tweeted this video out, tagged me, and said this video aged like a fine wine. I don't remember who uh, said that. A little said that whoever did that, if you remember, um, yeah. I, 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 I kind of wish that I, I, I like scanned, like I took a picture of my, my iPad uh, of these pages from Joe Murray's book. I, I kind of wish I, I like scanned them and said that they would look, they would look better. But um, I kind of like the fact that I actually I, like kind of like like sourced a secondary uh, book. Uh, I used a secondary source, you know, back of my claims that you know um, you know there are reasons why people still pitch Nickelodeon despite the reputation. Maybe a little bit better on there. And this is a clip from uh, Mr. Andrew, I think the, the, the last Nicarami he did, the, the Casa Grandes. Oh, and by the way, that uh, the, the Patrick Star Show spinoff, um, that, that news actually came out about, um, uh, I think, like a, a day or two days before I actually like started editing this video. So um, I actually kind of want to put that up on the screen just so I can like, kind of show um, people why, um, you know, your attention could be better spent, you know, um, Talking about the original stuff Nickelodeon does have, you know, that kind of also happened when, uh, when the Fairly Odd Prince, Fairly Otter came out. Everyone was talking about how terrible it was. Instead of talking about, instead of talking about, instead of talking about minimal, instead of talking about like the original shows like like Middlemost Post and etc. And people are still kind of guilty of that. And and you know why? You know, you know, people like are more attached to negative. People like spread negative news more than positive news. So um, I mean, I, I get why they do, but it's still kind of irritating. I wish people would, like uh. Like spend their attention better. Like, and by the way, it's kind of funny that I mentioned like about streaming services have a better reputation, especially now they have a bad reputation now because of the whole HBO Warner Bros Discovery controversy, uh, etc. Oh, by the way, uh, the, the 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 Discord boards from Dan Milano that are going to show up on screen just in just a second. Uh, those actually came from the uh, the Glitch Text Discord server, um, which is doesn't seem to be there anymore. I used to be in that server, um, but. 
uh, I noticed one eight underscore that's gone. Oh, there, there, it's right there. Um, those are the um posts I was talking about. Um, uh, the, that Discord server doesn't need to be there anymore. I noticed that um, I came Twitter one day it was just gone. I don't know if it got deleted or something. Uh, hey, whatever. I'm really glad I, I was able to like save those screenshots before they left because um, it was really nice to kind of show that thing from Dan Milano. But uh, he how he he was definitely more civil about like his shows about glitch text mystery that, that than C H Greenblatt was definitely. So. Yeah, sometimes you should you have to look at the good times, even when it's hard. But um, and don't and just be don't 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 be afraid to uh you know don't wallow in your um. Okay, that's the end of the video now. So um, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, see you guys next time.